<laughs> yeah, no worries, man. Um, let's do it right now. So, this is the guy we're looking at, Liar. Uh, this is knife round, no need for analysis. Oh, you're a great knifer, man. Get two? Okay, nope. Got traded. Okay, so I actually don't know what's okay. The real there's a big okay. There's a big there's gonna be a big difference from when I usually do insights on my own demo, and like I analyze my so I analyze my gameplay and then like review my gameplay and then I tell you guys what was going on in my mind etc. When I was doing whatever that I was doing when I was doing like the past three insights. This is my second attempt. My first attempt was watching uh watching Simple's game. Uh, like, someone suggested that I watch a demo of Simple and then just kind of talk about what Simple is doing and stuff like that. So, right now, this is my second attempt at watching someone else's play and trying to analyze his gameplay, uh, review what he's doing and everything, and then just giving my insight and my, my take on what they're doing right, wrong, and etc, etc. So, bear with me. Uh, pardon me if it's not, like, super informative. Um... And pardon me if I have the wrong idea, especially Liar, because I'm watching your demo right now. Pardon me if I have the wrong idea of what you're trying to do. Um, and I hope that this helps everybody that's watching, and especially to Liar, um, to improve and you know become a better player in, overall and in general. What ELO is this? I'm not sure what ELO this is. I think uh, this is maybe level 5 or 6 in EU. So yeah. <clears throat> Prime Racer 2 your online. <laughs> oh, it's level 2, okay. Alright, so here we go. Um so Lia is the actually the guy getting utility. Dude, okay, so this uh this guy, Ezran, he bought Tank Knight without Kevlar. That sucks man. Like you get hit on the body, you're not gonna hit anything, so that really sucks, but I feel bad for Lia having to play with uh, mates like this. <laughs> Okay, so market window small, team is just rushing B, one flash over, and one more flash out the window. I think that, I think maybe uh, what Liar should have done here instead was maybe pop two flashes overhead as let his team run in first. Because if he does that, um, all the people, all the CT guys are going to be watching like B apps. Those guys are generally going to be blind if you throw two flashes over and pop it here instead of uh, throwing one out the window and potentially blinding your teammates, especially because you're playing a park game. They might not know where your flashes are going, so they might not know that this flash is going to pop like um, right here, you know what I mean? So if he doesn't know the flash is going to pop here, he's going to get blind, he's going to call like, hey, your flash sucks, uh, what are you doing, you're blinding me, and shit like that. So maybe two flashes over, let your teammates go in instead is a better idea. Um, that's what I would have done instead if I was in a park game unless I was the first guy rushing in and I'm gonna pop a flash through the window so <laughs> digger without Kevlar yeah I was supposed to go hiking um, but it's raining like crap and now I'm abandoning my girlfriend <laughs> uh, yeah, so big difference. You got you got EU level two buying utility, <laughs> Southeast Asia level ten five clocks. Yeah, two flashes over is actually a good idea. So yeah, um, I think no info on the bench guy maybe. This just a heads up play, trying to get the bench kill, and okay. Yo, the bomb guy is like close market. He said. Ebox or Modi, whatever you call it. So they have no choice here to kind of just keep fighting. And good shots, I guess. Oh, AFK and start freeze time. That's a no no. That's a big no no, my friend. <laughs> it ruins your spawn and stuff. Okay, that's actually a pretty good flash. But what you could do instead is aim right here. Can 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 you see my cross uh, cursor? Ah uh, yeah, so you could be staying uh, top mid here, and while you're looking through the smoke, aim at this line here, and then you can actually wait. What am I doing, man? I can just like fly there. Uh stay there, top mid behind the smoke. You can see this line right here, and then just aim at this line and just throw a flash. You pop into connector. So instead of bouncing weirdly and potentially blinding your teammates if he goes into connector, you know, see that line right there. Yep. 
that's the one I'm talking about. This one, I think that's a good flash. But either way, just good, good mindfulness of using utility to get like control, uh, map control for your teammates. Okay, this smoke is not that good. I think it kind of helps the enemy sometimes. Oh, okay. Sometimes in situations like this, um, stop spraying, let your recoil reset, and start shooting again. I think that's a good idea. But they're eco anyway, so I guess anything works. This city smoke not that great, cause kind of one way. Nothing, nothing like honestly, nothing, nothing bad about Liar's gameplay right now. Everything he does is correct. Bomb planted for short. He lets his teammate that's on site play first, and he's just sitting to play the bomb, which is a great idea, by the way. Tactical baiting. Okay, this is kind of where um. The moment the guy jump spotted and he spots you, just like just fucking bail, just get out, just get out of there because um, crouching out maybe he gets a good timing on you and he kills you. You could move away a lot faster, but the I but you have the right idea. You're moving away anyways, so yeah. Okay, these guys are failing smokes. <laughs> So you threw another one, okay, oh, true smoke, fantastic. Yo, yeah. <laughs> CSGO, go Nova, one, 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 one. thanks for following the stream, dude, appreciate it. Mm, okay, um, you can s go on Discord, Oh yeah. tell me you wanna do it. I think I'm getting quite a good amount of like, viewers submitted demos now, so maybe I'll change it to subs, subs uh, demo review or something, I I'm not sure, because People seem to be asking now. <laughs> it's a bit tough. Um, but yeah, go on Discord. That's where you can reach out to me. I'll I'll ask. I'll say it when I need. Uh, when I want to do insights on your demos, and then we can link up on how to get that the demo your demo my way. Okay. Um. Okay, this flash maybe not the best, but I can understand because you're playing in a park. Um, I don't think your teammates know it's a good flash or anything. So just going out. Kinda got stuck here, I think. Oh my god, they put another smoke in Tetris, why? Okay, when you're up Tetris here, this is a good idea to just kinda slow down. Slow down around a bit. Um, just try and look for fights here, great idea. Molotov to Firebox. I think that's okay too, but... Um, I'm not sure if they... They have the info on the Shadow guy, they should have, because there's a UMP guy that was shooting still. So maybe Shadow Molly here would have been better. Um, mm, I mean, good play so far. Maybe not with running with the bomb out, cause he could be flanked. But okay, I I guess you have the information that his jungle already. So yeah, great play so far. Um, a execute. Is this sandwich molly? Yeah, sandwich molly. Dude, so this guy. Okay, so Lyra says it's face it level 2, and he has like knowledge of this style of utility. You know, the fact that he has knowledge of utility like this. Just kind of proves my point that Asia is still like really underdeveloped. So yeah. I guess at this point it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you baiting me? <laughs> okay, um... I think when... Okay, when this Winter guy ran off... Lyre was here on the flower pot, right? You could have quietly jumped off the flower pot and then maybe this guy would have pushed because he heard your teammate running off really loud. So maybe be quiet here so you put yourself in a good position to look. But um, you could also do what you're doing right now which is like secure the bomb planter like your teammate and then just going together. But see, if you were still in ramp, you could have gotten this kill. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, maybe you could, maybe you could. Uh, as a T side player, sometimes it's a good idea to like stay anchoring in important positions like A ramp, B house. Oh, that's not such a good fight. Okay, so I think shouldn't have crouched there, um, because actually you actually have the uh, superior angle. Because he can only see like maybe your shoulders up to your head, but you could actually see like basically his entire body, like half of his body. So crouching kind of eliminates the advantage you have while you're behind this cover right here. 
this this like wooden planks. So yeah, um, maybe crouching not the, not such a good idea. Like that particular duo. Window smoke. All right. What the fuck? Two guys are on Glocks. Why is, why does the guy have Glock and Kevlar? What the fuck? Erzhan! Why are you doing this, man? Okay, um... Maybe cross-side placement is a bit bad. Watching underpass from the top. It's the broken SG? No, it's the... Oh my god, this this Urzan guy, man, he's killing me, dude, he's killing me. The fuck is he doing? <laughs> Urzan, dude, what the fuck is he trying? Oh, waiting for teammates to die to get a weapon. Oh, okay, I understand the meta now. Okay, good kill on the first guy. Cross-side placement's on point, like right here. Like, all the way here, like, it's smart, like, calculated play. Got the bomb. Um, okay, I think I think you have this habit of pulling out the bomb to making to make sure that you have it. I think you gotta get rid of that, or maybe it's a bind. I'm not sure. Um, but when you have the bomb, just okay. One thing I do is actually I have my HUD. Wait, game hut. Okay, I have my hut. Like, wait, where the fuck is it? Wow, I actually forgot. Oh, is it under video? Yeah, under video, I think. Hard edge positions. So I actually squeeze my heart, like, in. So I can see some of the info, like health, uh, weaponry, my inventory, etc. Like, a bit easier. So you could try that. It might help. You might not like it. It's a personal preference thing. Yeah, so don't unnecessarily pull out your knife, your pistol, the bomb, or utility. Because you actually have lower movement speed if you're running with... um. Utility hand. You have um the vo the velocity is actually okay, you I can't actually show it in the demo, so never mind. I'm not gonna do it in the demo. Okay, so wow, okay, you actually made a safe run. That's insane. Yeah, some some I I heard of many players who does that with their heart, um, and I think it's a good idea. So you can kind of you don't so you can focus more on what's important, like have it at your comfort zone. That's what that's what I think. Okay, in a two v one heads up play to go for a kill or go for a one v one duo before you actually either plant the bomb or uh, when you have the after plan, it's a good idea to like play for play for info to get a one v one. And then after you go for another one v one, so that way you have a higher chance of winning round, because they they can't be double peeking you or they're crunching on you. So yeah, two good plays, two good shots as well. Yeah, so the, do what you want with your heart, and hopefully you know it helps. Davy's view model, I have actually not seen his view model. Does it <laughs> does it really suck that bad? Okay, so you're opping, you pop the flash for your teammates to go out, but they're not doing, they're not having the best game of their lives. Let's just put it that way. And Urzan is just, what is fucking Urzan doing? Hello? Oh my god, this guy is one of those guys that looks at the floor when he's running. Look at that shit. What are you doing, Uzan? Oh, fuck this. I'm not actually gonna watch Uzan. What are you doing, Uzan? Okay, so. <laughs> Uzan is not entering, he's not taking the bomb, he's not lurking. <laughs> he's just turning around every three seconds to look at Liar. Like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Okay, smart. Smart play. If you're playing Parks, smart play to bait someone like this. Because he absolutely has no idea what he's doing. 
So let him go first and then go for the trade, okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you if you're playing a park. In any level, do that, okay? Oh, good leg shot. And look who's not getting killed. Okay, um... Great that you pull out the pistol here, but sight's not clear, so maybe... You could stay on top for a bit more and try to look for fights. Even though you licked the guy backside, so yeah. Good one kill, good two kills, third kill's coming in, in like two seconds. Call it. Okay, sometimes in situations like this, where it's like... You basically kill like three guys in B side, like in succession, like really quick. And the... Okay, right now it's 9 seconds, when you were entering the site it was maybe like 27 seconds. And in that 15 seconds, this guy couldn't have rotated that hard, I think. So maybe just don't outplay yourself, try and get the plant down, calm yourself and then play the card situation. Oh, that guy's a fucking elephant. Oh, oh, dude. Okay, should have trust in your op. Should have aim before you shot. So two things. Um, you could have played with the op because you have no idea what his HP is. Second thing is um, don't panic. I know you're close on getting that one v five clutch, but what's really important is that you keep your basic mechanics consistent by aiming before you shoot, having patience, playing calmly. You know, shit like that. It's really really important. It was he was half HP, I think. And you hit two shots on his back, maybe? So it was really close. Nice attempt though, I mean... Good attempt overall at the end of the day, but... Finishing could have been a lot cleaner. <laughs> it wouldn't cover a lot of my screen, really. Guy said last apps. Ah, okay, that's why. So you're looking apps. But yeah, the moment you have sound info, you could just calm it down and then just like really, really play off your own skill, off the audio cues and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> uh, crouch picking top mid, maybe not the best idea because... Generally, if he's window, he's gonna only have one angle and it's the guy coming out top mid. So his crosshair placement... Like, his crosshair placement is gonna be, like, really right here. If you, like, crouch into it, I think he gets a really easy shot on you. So maybe, like, swinging wide or something it would have been a better idea. But that's my opinion. You, you could be doing your thing and then killing all the time. Yeah, so I think more jiggle picking. Uh, at the top mid boxes here, we've been great. Like a lot of jiggle picking, uh, jiggle pick connector. Then you jiggle pick the window guy, find out where he is. Then you white swing, and then you commit to fighting him. You know what I mean? That's a good way to play, I think. <laughs> Fuck you, Bavis. You are fucking better. You know what? I actually think I should uh, mute chat. How the fuck do I? Chat filters 63? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Isn't it just supposed to be like... Ah, you know what, fuck it. Okay, so basic utility stuff. Going for top mid control now with the team. Um, you have bomb? Drop it. Don't bring a catwalk alone. Oh shit. Don't bring it into ladder room either, cause that's a really shit position to be... To have the bomb in. So I guess kind of just drop it to your teammates and then go for it. It's great that you're creating space for your team, but you gotta know like what you have on you. That's super important. Like self-awareness. Good utility usage, going for cat, creating space again. Oh, good kill on the cat guy. One million people in connector. Yeah, this is a tough round. Wow, Eugene got banned? <laughs> We were watching people scream make me aim like scream. <laughs> Maybe. TV no chat one, thank you. Okay. Um clutch attempt. Oh okay, you see got NC there as well. Just fired a bit too early. Good Q 
kills though. These guys are just picking you one by one, and you're hitting all the good shots. So yeah, that's that's great. Good reposition right here. Bombs underpass, underpass. Yep. Oh, okay. You have no idea where the bomb is. Oh, and you made noise. Okay, so that that makes it really awkward. Bomb isn't shot either. It's underpass. Uh, okay. So this is kind of where like info from the team would be fucking great, but <laughs> your team's just not doing anything of it. <coughs> Yeah, fake info, yeah. <laughs> yeah, trigger discipline is important, yes. <laughs> oh, your team, man. Oh, okay, that's a good shot. So, obviously, aim is not a problem for you. Um, utility isn't that big of an issue as well. It's just um, being calm. And most of the time, like, taking, like, Taking your fights, being calm, some discipline stuff. That will make you really consistent, I think. I mean, you're not hitting... You're not, like, owning them because you're noobs. You're, hit, you're owning them because you're hitting good shots, man. So, honestly, like... You have some bad habits to get rid of. And then, honestly, I think, I think it would be great. Oh, okay, so that's, like, out, like mispositioning. Got flashed, but decided to hold D and went here, and you end up here instead. So and this angle could pick you. So this is kind of just like m maybe you need a bit better understanding of the angles. <laughs> okay, let's keep this. Oh my God, Azan! Okay, good one flash. Your team is not doing anything. Can't really say anything about that. The smoke is fine. What is the first guy doing? He's just run. Oh my god, these people, they're just running. Okay, good idea to stay on top and use your utility. And I just have no idea what your teammates are doing, so I can't really say that much about this, you know? In a park setting where you have in a five man lobby, uh and you're communicating to your team that okay guys let's throw utility from top and then we just slowly look for a fight, I think that round will work out perfectly, but two of them just decided to like fly past you and jump down and then just die through a smoke. <laughs> super super funny stuff. Yeah, I, 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 I get really annoyed by people switching positions on CT without saying anything as well. What is going on? You have teammates out A? And they're all in B? Why is this rotation, man? Vinny is, like, the Vinny the bot is literally out A and nobody knows. Okay. Alright. Okay, don't plan for B shot right here because your teammate is going jungle. There's no one B shot. There's obviously no one A side. So, okay, and then again, this Urzan is definitely not going to cover your CT. So, I guess big gamble here, but in a like maybe like a park game where everybody's talking, everybody's on the same level, planting for B shot like this might not be the best idea. Or maybe you could just slow the plant down a bit. It would be great. Then after planting for short um, if you plan for short, right guys, generally don't go CT because you can't play the bomb right here. So what you really want to do is actually kind of like just double back towards ram or play play in this box like right here. Or maybe in palace or like firebox or shadow. These are the only good positions. Otherwise, just play the bomb like what you did in the earlier round, like playing in connector is perfect. I understand that you're worried that they might come up connector or be work looking at you from short, but I think a better idea is to just move towards ramp instead of going towards CT. Of course, if you make this kill right here, then everything is great, but if you don't, that happens, right? So yeah. Yeah, it's great that also that when you're down numbers, you try and get that kill and go back. But maybe instead of staying here in this like 
Okay, maybe instead of wait. Why is there still this smoke thing? There's no smoke in city. The fuck. Okay, maybe instead of like going, like instead of staying here like this, you could have went like really early and just held this angle instead. Let them walk in, Q one, and then try and move. But either way, you wouldn't have been able to move back into the site because then they would be coming from corn jungle and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> Fucking Eugene. Eugene is probably Erzan. Yeah, Eugene's probably Erzan. Look at it. Yes. 2.4k and he buys like Scout with Kevlar. What the fuck is going on? I can still see chat them. Okay. Okay, good idea to go Palace when your teammate's hitting A and apparently nobody wants to go Palace. But uh, this sucks. Your team is really like pulling down, man. Uh, so, okay, great jiggle pick there, um, but kind of like, I think your fingers jammed a bit. First jiggle pick, you spot info. Second jiggle pick, white swing or crouch pick, yada yada, just to get him. Or jiggle pick again, if you're not sure. So, you, I think you were caught between wanting to fully commit and wanting to jiggle pick again, and then you just did like half a jiggle pick and half a commit, and you basically lost the kill right here, so... Important to have decisions, like good decision making in that in that uh, particular position. Like don't hesitate, just do what you want to do. Do it with confidence and then make sure every time you do something, you're doing it with like 100% and that's how you become consistent. Should have been watching Underpass I think, all the way, because... Ah, then again, I think they have the BL angle, so yeah. Chat filter 0. I'll try that. Coach with 6k hours teach you to jiggle and then hold off angle but never worked for you. Um, If you jiggle and then you hold off angle, it's good for CT. Because the terrorists have to push you. But if you're jiggling as a terrorist and you find info, you should kill him. Why not? Right? Unless he's just like really marking with an AWP or something. You know what I mean? You have the advantage when you're picking someone. So yeah. <laughs> oh shit, hit mouse too. Uh, don't crouch that much when fighting someone who's like running all over the place. Because then they could, you have a hard time hitting him and then they could crouch and then they can hit you and you're really easy to hit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's great. Okay, pistol... I used to make this like mistake of crouching a lot when I had a pistol or a Mac 10 or something. Oh, okay, so bit of a cross side placement thing could have aimed a bit lower and gave him a bit more lead. Wait, let me look at that again. Actually, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make the wrong. And oh <gasps> fuck! Okay. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes, guys. <laughs> yeah. I just want to look at this again. Uh, so yeah, um, too tight of an angle, too high of a cross side placement right here. Could have been a bit lower, and then the angle could be a bit bigger, so you have a bit of a lead on him. See, he just runs past your angle, like so. Have a bit, you know. This crouching thing is not a good idea. Hit two good shots here though. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, right here you see him, right? Okay, you take an off angle is great, but try to aim like in this position. Try to aim a bit lower, and because he's not necessarily gonna pick you from this angle, he can walk up like this, which is what he did, and then you kind of just missed him. Like, look at that, too high, and maybe cross it. I think if it was lower, it would have been great. Yeah, you just shot and he was just like way too low. Oh shit. They clutched. Damn. I guess this is just like communication failure. Not sure where they're going. Good jump spot. Not many people know that you can clip on that by the way. So it's amazing that you do. 
Again, I think too high crosshair placement, especially against... Okay, they might not have been eco, you might have known that they bought. But I think generally try and aim lower in these scenarios. Because there's a chance that, okay, in this situation, he could wide swing, and if you're aiming too high, you just completely miss his head. But if you're aiming at body level, you at least get two shots on his body. If he gets tagged enough, he, he's too slow, you get like four or five shots on his body and he's just dead. But if he just wide swings and you're aiming way too high, um, he just runs past and you don't do damage to him at all except for know that he's out. And there's also the chance that um, he could, someone could pick from like default, which is like a really, really low angle. So the lower that you are, and the closer that you are to the angle of the guy picking you default, the higher chance of you hitting the guy default if he picks you. And because there's also a smaller distance that you have to flick downwards when you're trying to kill the default guy, if he does pick you. So, if you're taking a tight angle, try not to take uh, too big of a headshot angle, unless you know for, like, almost for sure that he's gonna pick you. But otherwise, I think um, aiming lower in this situation would have been great for you. Pop flash, one we fight though, tough round. See, again, too high. If you aimed a bit lower, um, I think you would have tagged him, he would have lost his movement speed, he would have been an easy kill for you. So sometimes it's not like, ah shit, if I had more HP. Sometimes it's just like, oh, I could have, I could have take that, took that duo a lot better, and I could have won that duo in a faster, like, you know, speed, you know. Tight angles. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, like, legit sometimes the CSGO demo viewer sucks. Well, my PC is, I, I, I put a lot of, like, like, effort and money into my PC, so yeah. Yeah, knife that, knife that little, little ass, that little bitch. Freaking Benny. <laughs> Suddenly you're B now. Okay, so this sucks a lot, obviously. This is why I suggest that you get like a bunch of friends to play with, so at least they stick to their positions, or at least if they're gonna change positions around, they, at least you know. Okay, not much to say about that, just... Tough round. A bit late to window, um... Heads up late to not just pick. Like, good idea to not just like straight away pick in the mid, cause you're late. Good kill. Ooh. Oh. That's good. That's a good shot. Oh, didn't I have to reload there? Six bullets on the scout. Plenty. Oh, what was this? Bit of panic. Um, could have went stairs and went aggressive on the palace guy instead. Uh, just push up and then try and kill the palace guy. Uh, cause chances are getting mollied there, you know. Even if you had ran from stairs, for example, you were here, right, right here. You ran here. If the palace guy was watching this angle, you would have died anyway. So you might as well just had like tried to gone upstairs and then like pick the palace guy instead and try and kill him because he's slow. Not sure if you knew that he was slow, but you could have tried to go aggressive on him instead of taking like 60 molly damage, which is not optimal. Ooh. Oh, it's the, the classic 4A ramp push. And completely lose B, because the B guy decides to go aggressive as well. Oh no, it's just bot Vinny. Okay, never mind. So, good movement. Uh, Try to always be running or strafing and stuff when you're shooting the MP9, not crouching and committing. Because SMG running accuracy is fantastic. If AD is here, what's up, man? <laughs> So unfortunately, you're solo B now. Jump spot. Oh, okay, just a bit of panic. Small whiff there. What the fuck are they doing? The enemy? I have no idea. Well, yeah, okay. Um, Generally, I think just... Before I move on to the next demo, um, let me just... Go through a little something, a little something, song, something, something for Lyle. Um, I think your play is fine. Um, could be a bit more consistent, and have to be a bit more aware of when you should be spraying, tapping, and stuff like that. When your crosshair should be, 
uh, stuff that basically I spoke about before, and I have like, you can like you you've seen the YouTube videos as well, so you kind of know like um, what I'm talking about um when it comes to like cross hair placement and stuff like that. Like since you since you already seen the YouTube videos, uh, you know get rid of the bad habit. Oh shit. So when you're running around holding a bomb, you actually have like max velocity, but if you pull off like for example a flashbang or something you actually have lower speed like like if you look at velocity right now it's 245 with the knife is 250 with the pistol is 240 with AK is 215 right uh, it depends on like what weapon you're using so if you get rid of the bad habits of like just suddenly plucking out the bomb and being like really vulnerable to fight and stuff uh, being more conscious of um, when you should be spraying when you should um, actually be like really calm and then just like take it, picking your fights take having some trigger discipline being calm picking your fights um consciously and aiming before you shoot just a little less panic and that would really make you a more consistent player and that will oh, that was that will in turn show and like it will literally show on how well you play the moment that you're more consistent because if you're more calm, you can won that 1v5, uh, like that 1v1 when you already had 4 kills. Um, other than bad info, that's one thing that sucks. If you get a bunch of friends to play with you, and then you constantly like just remember what are the things that you lack, which is uh, getting rid of some bad habits, um, being more calm when you're shooting, and do things like that and you become consistent. And when you're consistent, you, I mean, you play a lot better. So yeah, I think that's, I think that's all for like Liar's demo. Yeah, so I hope that helps.